Hi, my name is Miranda. This is a gentle practice for those of you who are suffering from stiff or tight shoulders sitting at a desk or anything like that. So we're going to start off on the floor and what would be helpful to have beforehand would be a rolling pen that could be rolled up in a towel or you can roll a towel up quite tightly so it's quite firm and it wants to be big enough so you can feel the pressure underneath your neck. So we're going to start off lying down. If you take the rolled up towel or the rolling pen with the towel just, just to soften it underneath your neck and just make sure that where you are it feels comfortable. You want it to be pressing up into the neck a little bit but you want your head to be able to be on the floor. It just really helps to realign your neck. If you start off with your hands on your forehead and just press down onto your forehead. Legs bent, feet on the floor. And just settle. Close your eyes. And bring your awareness to your breath. If you draw your breath down into your belly, feel your belly swelling on the inhale and falling on the exhale. And the breath is such an important thing for our neck and shoulders. If we breathe in and up into our chest, we overwork the muscles around the neck and the shoulders. They get very tense and tight. So if you can just make sure that you are breathing in down, which switches off the fight flight response, it calms our body down, it relaxes, releases these muscles around the neck and the shoulders. You might find, might find after a while that your hands, your arms get a little bit tired there, so you can take your arms down by your sides. Just take a few more moments just breathing deeply. Then if you turn your head one way, and back to centre, and turn your head the other way. So just moving your head from side to side, just massaging it over the towel or the rolled up rolling pen. And come to centre. And then take that away. Arms by your sides. And turn your head off to the right. And press your head down into the floor. And relax. Press your head down into the floor. And relax. One more time, press your head down and relax and turn your head back to centre. Then turn your head over to the left and press your head down and relax. Press your head down and relax. One more time, again down and relax, turning your head back up to the centre. Then inhale, take your arms up towards the ceiling and over towards the floor beyond your head. Exhale, bring them back up towards the ceiling and back down by your sides. Inhale again, up to the ceiling and over towards the floor beyond your head. Should feel like a gentle massage in your shoulders. Exhale, bring them back up again and back down. This time when you take them up and over, we're going to change the direction of that, the way they come down. So slide your arms along the ground until they come back down by your sides. Inhale, up towards the ceiling, over towards the floor beyond your head. And exhale. Slide them along the floor, back down by your side. One more time. And then we're going to take them back up overhead. We're going to come into bridge here. So when you're ready to, on an exhale, tip your pelvis back and roll up into bridge. Peel your spine up off the floor to come up onto your shoulders. 
inhale, reach with your hands as if you're trying to touch the wall behind you. And exhale, roll back down away from those hands. You should feel a stretch in the arms and the shoulders, pressing each vertebra down. Resting breath in at the bottom. And exhale, tip your pelvis back and roll up into bridge. Don't feel you have to come up very high. Inhale, reach and stretch with your hands. And exhale, roll back down again, one vertebra at a time, as much as you can. One more time. Resting back at the bottom. Exhaling, roll up. And again, your inhale, stretch with those hands as if you're trying to touch the wall behind. And the last time, coming back down one vertebra at a time. And stay there for a moment. Just stay, observe that stretch. And breathe deeply into it. And then bring your knees in towards your chest. Catch hold around your shins and hug your knees and rock from side to side. And we're going to come up to sitting. So come up any way you want to, but one way that can be nice is catch hold behind your thighs and rock forwards and back. And rock up to sitting. And make sure you're up on your sitting bones, so you're not slumping. A good way to tell that you're sitting up tall, sitting up straight, which is going to have an effect on your neck and shoulders, is to make sure if you had a tail, that your tail would be sticking out behind you, not curled under you like an unhappy dog. So sitting up tall. And first of all, just roll your shoulders. Such a simple thing to do, but it's very easy for us to forget about this. Rolling the shoulders. And then, imagine you've got a glass ball underneath your chin, and you don't want to break it, but you want to sort of wrap your chin around it to hold on to it. So you're lengthening and looking down. And relax. And then again, as if you're wrapping your chin around a glass ball underneath your chin. And come back one more time. Then take your hands behind your neck. So if you interlace your fingers, so you've got your fingers like that, but behind your neck. So fingers pressing in to your neck. And push back. And move your head around here, just using your fingers as a bit of a massage tool here. So just moving your head around, tipping your head forwards and back. Just doing anything that feels good. Close your eyes. And just observe how that feels for you. Pressing them in as much as feels good. Maybe lifting your head up away from your shoulders. Lengthening your neck. Maybe tipping your head forwards. Maybe back. Sort of play around with it. And then let go. And if you have your right arm underneath your left arm, wrap your arms around each other. This is called eagle arms. So your arms, you might be, if you're really stiff, your, your hands might be there. You don't have to be touching. It's about to stretch. But if you, then if you reach your arms up. And remember, some people might not be very comfortable sitting cross-legged. If you're not such comfortable sitting cross-legged, don't feel you have to be. Sit in any way that works for you. But reach up with your arms and you should feel a good stretch. Make sure your neck isn't feeling uncomfortable. Move your head around, free up the neck. Reach up with those arms. 
and release. And the other side. So left arm underneath your right arm. Wrap your arms around themselves. And again, that might be where you are, but you might be here. And again, reach up with your arms. Just until you feel a good stretch. And again, just check that your neck isn't tightening up. Move your head around. And release out of it. And roll your shoulders. Then we're going to come on to our hands and knees. We're going to come into downward dog. So just to stretch out the legs, having been cross-legged. If this is something that you feel you want to miss out on, don't worry. Just skip this pose. But spread your fingers out with wave of the hands, and this is really important for anybody doing yoga, but just to make sure the shoulders are back and down, so the out with wave of the hands, you want to do that with the hands, but they don't move. So as they're on the floor, you do that movement with the hands, and the crease of the elbows should come towards the front of the mat, and just observe how that takes your shoulders back and down. So often our shoulders collapse forwards and up. So that out with wave of the hands, tuck your toes under, and come into downward dog. Downward dog is like an upside down V. And then bend your right leg, take your left heel away. And your left leg, right heel heads away. And just a few more times. Tight hamstrings and tight neck can be very much related. Just giving the legs a nice stretch here. And then bend both legs. Tail away and up, lengthen your spine, then straighten your legs as much as they straighten and shake your head around. Really release your neck muscles here. So you've got the weight of your head hanging upside down to really lengthen the neck and nod your head as if you're saying a very firm yes. And again, shake. And then come down to your knees. And then we're going to come down onto our bellies. So coming down, your elbows underneath your shoulders. Just make sure that your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. Shoulders away from your ears, brass bone forwards, neck nice and relaxed. So you're looking in front of you or at the ground in front of you. Inhale, exhale, attempt to drag your elbows back. Feel your upper back muscles working. Inhale, relax. Exhale, press down into your forearms and attempt to drag your elbows back. Inhale, relax. And again, a few more times. You should feel as an engagement in your upper back. It really helps us to stand up straighter, which takes the strain off our neck, shoulders, upper back. One more time. And then come down. Hands underneath your shoulders, shoulders away from your ears, elbows in. Inhale, open up into a back bend. Exhale down. Inhale, open up. Exhale down. And again, one more time. But this time, stay here. And just make sure that your neck is happy. Don't feel you want to be looking forwards. You won't want to be looking forwards. You'll want to be looking at the floor in front of you a little bit. Keep it soft. Move your head around. Make sure your neck really is lovely and soft here. Yeah? Just any way that feels good for you. Keep it fluid. And then come down. And take your hands down by your sides, palms facing down. And then take your hands up off the floor and reach them towards the back wall. Notice how that takes the shoulders away from your ears. Then on an inhale, head and chest up. Just training our bodies to have the shoulders further away from the ears, strengthening the muscles that take them down. So often it's the muscles that take them up, that are overworked. So reach back with those hands. And come down. And bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Push yourself up onto your hands and knees. 
We're going to come up to standing. So we're going to come through downward dog, but you may feel you want to come through another position or just any old way. But outward wave of the hands again. Tuck your toes under and into downward dog. And again, shake your head around. And then walk your legs, bend your legs, walk yourself closer to the front, bend your legs more, and come to standing. And when you're standing, have your arms by your sides. Don't come away from the picture behind me. <laughs> Inhale, rotate your upper arms out. Feel how that takes your shoulders back and down. Exhale, arms back in. Inhale, rotate your upper arms out. Feel the shoulders go back and down. Exhale, back in. The next time we do that, we're going to take the arms up. So take them up. And exhale, over to the left. Inhale, take your left arm down. And exhale, reach and stretch, lengthen. Inhale, come back up again. Exhale, over to the other side. Inhale, right arm down. Exhale, reach and stretch. Inhale to come back up. And exhale down. And take your hands behind your back, clasp them together, all the fingers interlaced. Lift your breastbone and take your arms away and up. Taking them away and up. Reach them up. And then we're going to just move the head around here. So if you turn off to the right. And then dip your chin down towards your chest up the middle. And over to the left. And again, dip your chin down, down through the middle. And off to the right. And back to centre. Inhale here. And exhale, hi Rafi, bend your legs, chest onto your thighs, Rafi's going to do a downward dog, then straighten your legs as much as they straighten, reach up with your arms, bend your legs again, hands back on your bottom and inhale, come back up. And exhale fully. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, bend your legs, chest onto your thighs, then straighten your legs as much as they straighten. They might not go straight, and don't worry about that, that's just about the stretch in the legs. Bend your legs again, hands back on your bottom, inhale, come back up. And a big exhale. One more time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend your legs, chest onto your thighs, then straighten your legs as much as they straighten. Reach up with your arms, we're going to stay here for a moment, and again, shake your head around. Let the weight of your head release those neck muscles. Shake your head. Nod your head. And again, shake. Then bend your legs, hands on your bottom. Inhale, come back up. Just roll your shoulders again for a moment. Then take your hands behind your back again, clasp them together, and take your hands over to the left. And take your head over to the left. And you should find here that there's a really nice stretch along the right side of your neck. Just be where it feels like a good stretch, a good place to be. Close your eyes. Observe. And again, breathe deeply. Remember, when you breathe deeply, your body's going to let go into a stretch. If you're holding your breath or breathing in a very shallow way, your body's going to be tensing up. And it's really worth remembering that to check in on your breathing to make sure that you're not breathing in a way that your body's going to tense. You may find it feels good to tip your head slightly forwards. Just observing that. And then take your head back to the middle. And take your hands over to the other side. And take your head over to the right. So your hands and your head have both gone to the right. And again, observe. So 
close your eyes. Again, breathe deeply, breathe through the nose too. It's so much better for our bodies and our minds to breathe through the nose. Just observing that stretch, making sure that you are in a place that feels good. And again, you may feel it feels good to tip your head forwards a little bit. So you've still tipped your head over to the right, but just tipping it forwards a little too. And then come back up. And let go of the hands. Then we're going to take our right arm up and take the hand down behind your back. Your left hand, just encourage that elbow to come down, to reach down. If you want to work a little bit harder in this pose, you could step back into a lunge, just to be in a lunge to stretch out the front of the hip as well. So I'm going to demonstrate that, but otherwise just stand, just be standing. So in a lunge, reach back with your right heel. Just encourage that stretch. Just a little gentle pressure with the elbow. And breathe. And just maybe you might feel it's okay to take your left hand up and reach your left hand up your back. If you're very tight, you won't be able to reach your fingertips. But if you are not quite so tight, you might be able to catch hold of your fingertips. Make sure your neck is free. Move your head around. And then step forwards. Release the arms, roll. And then it's the left arm. So left arm up, catch hold again on the elbow. And again, just encourage that elbow to head down the hand to encourage it to walk down your back. Again, make sure your neck is free. And you might feel you want to step into a lunge again here. Otherwise, just standing. Again, reach back with your left heel. You can do this sitting, of course, too, anywhere. Oh, I'm wobbling. <laughs> so reach back with your left heel. Keep checking that your neck feels happy. Again, you might feel you're happy to take the right hand up and see if you can find your fingertips. That might not be accessible to you, though. Check that wherever you are, you haven't put your neck into a place that doesn't feel so comfortable. And it's always good to keep moving it around. Also your jaw. Jaw is very connected to all this tension in our neck and shoulders. Check your jaw. Shake it out. And release. And step forwards. And shake your legs out. We're going to come down onto our hands and knees again. So come down to your hands and knees. Spread your fingers and inhale, take your right arm up, reach up. Exhale, take the hand down behind your left hand, slide it through and come to rest briefly on your right side of your face. Inhale, take that arm up, reach up. Exhale, take the hand down behind your left hand, slide it through. Inhale, take that arm up, reach up. Exhale, take it through. We're going to stay here this time. So just come to rest on the side of your head. If that feels uncomfortable, you might want to put a support underneath a blanket or cushion. Just make sure that that feels okay for you here. It's just a bit of a stretch for the neck. But make sure it feels comfortable. Breathe. And then push the floor away with your left hand to come back up. Inhale, take your left arm up. Exhale, hand down behind your right hand, slide it through. Come to rest on the left side of your face. Inhale again, reach up. Exhale, hand down behind that right hand, slide it through. 
Inhale, push the floor away with your right hand. One more time, reach up. Exhale, hand down behind that right hand, and this time settle and stay. So again, cushion if that feels uncomfortable. So just turning the head, observing. You should be getting a stretch around the right side of your shoulder. Sorry, the left side of your shoulder. Stretch in the neck. Just settle and breathe. Make sure that you can breathe deeply. If you can't breathe deeply, you're trying too hard, you're stretching too much. Make sure that you're able to breathe deeply. And then push yourself back up. But then you're going to come onto our side. So come onto your right side. And make a pillow with your bottom arm. We're going to do some arm circles here. So both legs bent, top arm in front of you. So really make sure your neck is comfortable. Inhale, take the top hand along the floor, up beyond your head and behind you. And exhale, finish the circle, taking the hand down over your hip and back in front. So your inhale along the floor, up beyond your head and behind you. Allow your body to turn out with that. And the exhale, finish the circle. And one more time, opening up into a bit of a twist as you reach back. I haven't got very much space behind me. It's better if you have more space. And finish the circle. Then take your hands behind your head, both hands behind your head. Inhale, take your top elbow up and back. Exhale, back over. Inhale, open the top elbow up and open it out to the left. Exhale, back over. We're going to stay there next time. So lifting the elbow up and back and stay. Make sure your neck is happily supported in your hands. And again, close your eyes and breathe. Just feel your body releasing here. Keep checking that your neck is happy. Your body feels happy here. There's nothing that it doesn't like. Really allow the breath to help you release here. So long, deep breaths. Notice how the more you exhale, the more your body will let go. And it's really worth remembering that. If you do experience tight neck and shoulders, it's very much related to the breath, as I mentioned earlier, but if in doubt, breathe out. We tend to hold on, tense up, and not exhale enough. So just breathe out, let that tension go, let that breath go. And then bring the elbow back up and over. And then if you roll over onto the other side, I'll just wriggle around, so I'm still facing you. But coming again onto your, so left side this time, bottom arm underneath your head, top arm in front, legs bent. When you're ready to inhale, take the hand along the floor, up beyond your head and back behind you, opening your body up as you take that arm back. Letting me exhale, finish the circle. So your inhale along the floor, up beyond your head and behind you. And the exhale finishes the circle. One more time. One thing I didn't mention before, but just if you're doing this video again another time, you, if you have pain in your shoulder, don't go there. You can be circling with the hand on the, uh, on the shoulder. It's just a smaller circle. And finishing that circle. Take both hands behind your head. Inhale, take your top elbow up and back, opening your body out. Exhale, bring the elbow up to the ceiling, back over in front. Inhale, take your elbow up and back. Exhaling, back over. 
The next time you open up, stay there. Again, just check that your neck is comfortably supported in your hands. Make sure your whole body is happy to be here. And breathe. Again, really using the breaths. Deep inhale and a complete exhale. Really feel your body releasing here, breathing through the nose. When we get stressed, we tend to mouth breathe. It's very easy for us to become mouth breathers when we get stressed and hyperventilate. But we can't hyperventilate through the nose. It really slows the breathing down, it calms us down. Breath is such a powerful tool. I have lots of videos for the, on breathing, on how to breathe in a way to release tension, anxiety. To really feel your body letting go. Then bring the elbow back up and over. And come onto your back for a moment just to even out. So with your legs bent, you have your elbows level with your shoulders and your hands behind you. So your hands might be off the floor. They might be able to touch the floor. But just settle here for a moment. Feel your body releasing here. And turn your head to the right. Back to the middle. Turn your head to the left. Back to the middle. Again, we're going to turn our head to the right. And then a little bit more, just turn it a little bit further. And again, press down into the floor. And relax. Press down into the floor. And relax. One more time. Press down. And relax. Back to centre. Turn your head over to the left. And then a little bit further. And again, press down. And relax. Press down. And relax. One more time. Press down and relax. Turn your head back to the center and then have your arms down by your sides. You just take a moment. And then roll over onto your side and push yourself up to sitting. I hope that helped. I know particularly a sore neck is such a horrible thing and makes us feel hideous. So I really hope that helped you.